Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha. You can find out more about me using the links below. It's the end of the month. I'm gonna share a favorites video with you. I love the Amazon favorite videos I watch. Um, it's been months since I have filmed a favorites. Some of these might be new to you, some of them might not be, but I'm gonna take you through what I'm currently loving, so I hope you enjoy. So right now I feel so claustrophobic. I got stuff on each side of me and even behind me that I'm going to be sharing with you and it's a lot. So I'm just going to start off with the beauty stuff. I'm going to link as much as I can below, but at the same time, if there's something I've missed or maybe you don't see in my Amazon store, you can definitely leave me a comment and I'll make sure you get the link. I'm not always the best at providing those links. And I know that. So I'm going to start off with beauty stuff. Stuff that I've been using and loving. The first thing I'm going to talk about is something I've already spoke to you guys about in the past. It is the Newt Me um, Bird Tech Hyberg Overnight Serum. So here it is. I've shared this many, many times. Let's see if it's going to focus. There we go. Anyway, it says, um, you know, just apply one or two pumps nightly in place of your usual serum um, after you cleansed your face blah 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 I use this in the night and in the morning and I just love the way it makes my skin feel I feel like my skin is really being nourished with this I can link the website I will definitely link the other video if I can find it where I really share this in depth but when I wear it in the daytime it has no SPF it's a nighttime um, face serum. I like the Kula Organic Mineral Face Sunscreen. It does have like a matte finish. Um, it's non-greasy. It's fast absorbent. Um, it's got plant protection. It's got an SPF of 30 and it's water resistant. So, you know, a lot of days I am not just cleaned up or um, going out with a ton of makeup. I'll just put some of this on. Um, but I always put it on after this. So it's this and then this. And I really like this Kula one. I've been using it for a while. So, in terms of foundation, well, let's, let's hold on. So, here's something I bought myself a while back. And I'm sure many of you know what this is. Um, God knows I'm going to mispronounce this. So, I bought the Jade Roller and the Gula Shaw. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And it's for... Basically, after this goes on, um, it's for contouring and it's for getting um, your face more sculpted. The Jade Roller is great for puffiness and for helping your moisturizer absorb into your skin. I bought this off Amazon. I will definitely link it below. Um, they have different ones for different things, like different stones. So I got the Jade one. It stimulates collagen, it helps tighten pores, stress relieving, it reduces the appearance of puffiness and wrinkles, and it reduces the appearance of dark circles. Um, sometimes I even put this, oops, I even put this in the freezer. Um, I've been using these. Now, I like them. I am kind of new to this one. Um, and I absolutely love the Jade Roller. It just feels so amazing on. Even in the evenings, like on days I've had a long stressful day and I'll maybe take a shower early and I'll just put this in the freezer while I'm in the shower and I'll come out and I'll just pretty much go over my entire face but definitely stressing under my eyes and I love this. I do just keep it in the box that it came in um, so it doesn't get broke. We have AJ running around and that can definitely be disastrous at times. So keeping it in this box and I think it was like reasonably priced like $15 or something. And it's definitely become a part of my nightly routine. So as I was saying, in terms of foundation, usually in the summer, I tend to go with mainly Bare Minerals. I absolutely love it. I need to place a new order. But what I've been using instead is the It's Cosmetic CC Cream. So like iridescent. I'll try to put a picture in. It's got an SPF of 50 color correcting and illuminating it really does I'm wearing it today I'm so sorry that it's just focus problems today 
there we go. So I have it on today. I love this um, and I'll definitely repurchase it. But again, in the summer, I'm already a little bit shiny. So I don't know how much I'm going to use this, but it's definitely lightweight. It feels really nice on and it gives pretty good coverage. Um, and I do like that it's got the SPF in it. So um, that's on days that I wear makeup. There are two blushes that I have really been loving. This one is the Revlon Insta Blush. It is a cream blush. This one is in Candy Kiss. Pretty close to my shirt. Um, and I love this. It gives such a natural look. You can absolutely use it on your lips as well. The powder blush, though, that I've been loving is this one by Burt's Bees. It is in 120 Shy Pink. Love this. Brittany loves this as well. Um, I don't know. I just really, really like it. But again, I'm probably going to place an order for Bare Minerals here in the next few weeks. So um, I'll probably be switching that out a little bit. But I absolutely love that blush. So on days I want to touch up or days I don't have a lot of time, I have been using the Infallible 24-hour um, powder foundation by L'Oreal. I don't use it a ton. This one is in, um, God, it's so hard to see, porcelain. Um, it comes with a sponge that just fell out. And I like it. It's pretty heavy. But if I just want to quickly freshen up just maybe a few little spots, I will just take the sponge in like so and just kind of go in gently and touch them up. Um, I don't want to wear a lot of this. It's just so heavy and cakey and um, it's really just a fast fix for me. Um, so, yeah. Then, um, every summer, this is a favorite for me. I am pale. I don't tan that easy. I do like spray tans, but it's not something I go for, you know, every week or anything. But I do love the Jergens Natural Glow Daily Moisturizer um, for my legs and my arms. Really love this. I'm sure everybody has heard of this. It's one of my absolute favorites. I'm not going all out trying to look super dark. It's not... It just looks weird on me. It's not who I am. This works so good for me. So, I love it. Now, I've shared this, um, I think, I guess in a video or on Instagram. This is, hell, I don't even know what it's called anymore. Um, ah, it's the Revlon, like, drying brush. I'll have to insert what it's actually called. I can't remember. Um... I bought this, well, I didn't buy this. I, Ryan actually wanted to know what I wanted for my birthday. I told him I wanted this, so he gave me his card and I ordered it right off Amazon. And I love it. Um, I'd rather get something that I would use for my birthday than something that's just useless. So he got this back in March. I've been using it since then. It has super, super hot settings. Um, it works really well even on my bob because while I'm drying it comes down And will take it completely now. I didn't use it today. So I got a little bit of hair winging out, but that's okay um, But I use this a lot and I love it. I um, Tend to use it on medium heat kind of in the middle so I don't damage my hair but um, it dries super, super fast. It works wonderful. Another favorite of mine for the summer, for this one back here and Romeo, is this Deshedder. It works so beautifully well. I have long-haired cats. I'm actually in the process of cutting Romeo down. But this works so good for my, for my kitty cats. They have beautiful hair, but it's so hot in the summer. I hate the shedding. This Deshedder. It's cheap, but it works so well. My cats absolutely love it on top of that. So, moving on in to another home good item is this Bissell Steam Shot. If you haven't got one, it's time you check it out. And also check out Do It On A Dime's video. She had a video up 
where she shared the steamer and everything she does with it, which is everything I do with it. It's freaking amazing. It works so good. It steams and it it sanitizes and it gets sticky stuff out of the bottom of your refrigerator, crayon off the wall. It cleans corners. It cleans around the toilet. It cleans everywhere. It removes the gunk and it, you just wipe it up. I mean, fabulous. Freaking fabulous. Another gift idea for this fall. Um, and I'll do more in depth, like a cleaning video or something where I'm sharing this with you. But I can't even express how much I love that thing. It's freaking amazing. So let's move into kitchen stuff. So I have been testing out waters and it's taken a while to find my absolute favorites. The Alkaline 88 Smooth Hydration, favorite. Absolute favorite, love it. It's helped me drink more water. I bought other ones that are like, um, you know, have their pH balance and stuff, but this one, this one by far is a favorite. I love it, and I pay a little extra for these cans. I at least get one in me a day, which is not a lot, I understand, but I don't drink a lot to begin with. Um, I'm drinking other things as well. Um, coffee, coffee lasts me till like lunchtime. So, this is amazing, I love them. Sometimes I get two in me. And sometimes I get more. AJ has really been loving the Creative Roots. Um, this one is the flavored coconut water one with orange and pineapple. He's got the watermelon kiwi one right now. These have one gram of sugar. So healthy for your kids. I'm trying to reduce his sugar a little bit. But, I mean, he does get a Twinkie here and there. Or a cupcake or whatever. But for his hydration, I'm trying to be more careful and do milk juice but less juice um, and drinks that have less sugar and are a little bit more healthy now I'm gonna move into a couple things that are not healthy these classic Italian rainbow little cakes they knock your socks off they are just so good I love them so much um, they have another flavor just like a pure chocolate one I think I didn't love that as much these are wonderful little treats that you can give yourself I love them. Actually, I forgot to share something with the cat about the cats, and I'll do that in a second. I found these chocolate hazel hazelnut rolled crepes. Now I don't have a crepe pan. I really want to order one. It needs to get on my list, but I haven't yet. And these little chocolate hazelnut crepes are fabulous. Put some whipped cream on. We'll warm them up. Put some whipped cream and strawberries, and they are just like to die for. I find these at Myers back in the deli. They're 150 calories a crepe, but they're fabulous, and sometimes you need something sweet in your life. So trust me, those are really, really good. I love them. Um, now, I said I forgot something with the cats. So Romeo has urinary tract issues. He's had surgeries. He's been, you know, being treated for that for years at this point. And my cats really get tired of the same urinary tract kind of dry food. So while I was researching, I realized that a lot of the minerals in grain or cat foods with grains cause a lot of the urinary issues. So I switched them up a little while back to this one. This is, and I love you, the Naked Essentials Grain Free um, with salmon and trout. They have a few different flavors, but this is grain free. So far, so good with Romeo. Like, it's always so scary. You never know what's going to cause him to go have another UTI and surgeries and possible death. And it's just scary and stressful. But so far, so good. His vet said this was fine. Um, and again, this has, um, like, no fillers or byproducts, no grains, corn, soy, wheat, or rice, nothing scary. It's balanced for all ages, breeds, and sizes. Um, I really like it because it has, like I said, less minerals. Let's see what it says about that. I know it says something on here about the minerals. Um, no preservatives, no white potatoes. First, their ingredients are all animal proteins. Um, it's just better for them. A lot of the dry food has 
lots of different fillers with lots of different minerals and those minerals build up like especially in male cats in the urethia and causes the UTIs which is dangerous especially for Romeo but they've been loving that food and I've been so happy with that for them so now I feel like we're doing really really well we're moving on into stuff that I've been wearing and I've got a text that my girlfriend is on her way over so if you hear her walk in I'll just have to stop filming and film again later but I might let you say hi I've actually been cleaning out closets so I got stuff right in front of the front door when she opens or tries to open that front door it's just gonna be everywhere but maybe we can get this done before she comes over okay so let's move on into like clothes and stuff I've been wearing and using so this little multi-sack um little crossbody bag i absolutely love now i got it with the intentions of going hiking of taking it on the trails it can fit my camera it can fit um some band-aids just a few necessities that is not heavy but i've been using it day to day when I work outside the home, I usually have a big bag that can carry all kinds of stuff to the office and back. But since I've been home, this has been so convenient. So it's got a deep pocket here. It's got a little side zipper right here. It has um, another pocket on the inside right here. It's got a place for your cards and such. And then another deep pocket. So again, I can fit a lot in here. And it's perfect just to run to the store. It's so much easier to carry something like this and wrangle a three-year-old than it is one of my big bags. And I don't know, I just have found this so nice and easy and and just really really easy to use and another favorite that's actually inside that bag are my earbuds that I love I shared these on Instagram these are not Apple earbuds I am not like budgeting for that these are a knockoff version but they work so well I love them they're waterproof I'll definitely have them in my Amazon store or linked below so another favorite that I found are these little Reebok slip-ons um, I forget what they're called, and I wear them without um, socks a lot. These are memory foam. I found them from the website Hip to Save, and they were $15. And what I love about them is I can wear them with yoga pants, jeans, or even skirts. And they're so comfortable, and I actually wash them because I, like, drip some coffee on them. And I put some stain stuff on them, tossed them in the washer. They came out like brand new. So I love them. And as I said, let me get some of the clothes. I've been wearing a lot of skirts because they're so comfy. They look nice. They're just, I love them. So this one with the, with the skirt, I mean, I know, by the way, let's just like throw something in there. I know that people think that I dress like a 50 year old or maybe a 60 year old half the time. And that's fine, I'm comfortable in what I'm wearing. I'm comfortable um, in the clothes that I pick. I don't care if they're, they look like they're for a 60 year old woman or a 20 year old woman. It's what I like, what fits my body. I don't always make the best choices. Sometimes I tend to look too baggy and that makes me look heavier than what I am. But I can tell you this skirt has been such a staple. It goes down to my calf. It needs ironed actually. It just came out of the dryer. But even with these little shoes, like it looks completely fine. And it's just a dressed up version of yoga pants in a way. I just feel like it's so comfortable. I love these skirts. Now, I have a lot of them. I just brought out like four. This one I've had for years. Again, it has that hint of like that blue in here. And I believe these little shoes work just fine with them. Now, I have a lot of other flats as well. But, um, you know, these are perfect for home, the office, shopping. There's even skirts that I would probably go hiking in. I just love them. Here's another one that I love. Perfect. Like, these are just clothes that I enjoy. So, I've really been getting the most out of my skirts. Um, I love this blue one. It's a little bit longer. I have a real long gray one. 
Um, I just have lots of different skirts. I find them online. I find them at thrift stores. I find them at Thread Up, and they have just been a staple of my of my wardrobe. I used to look so sloppy, and there's days, you guys, when I still do. Um, there are days when, you know, I don't feel like getting all cleaned up, but I have like put away a lot of the yoga pants and been trying to dress a little bit nicer even at home now today i'm in yoga pants but i dressed it up a little bit and i feel comfortable in what i'm in um it was just chilly in my house this morning so those have been the clothes i've been loving um and i would definitely link these shoes because they're so cute now i did order a new bathing suit and I, I haven't wore it out yet, but I have um, obviously tried it on, and I love it. So, this is like a really high-waisted bottom. It's a two-piece. Here's the bottoms. And so, this all like scrunches up, this part. Um, and it comes up really, really high, and it has this beautiful ruffled top. It goes with it. I love it and um, I'll definitely be wearing it there's another one that I want to order I just haven't now this one would cover me up it really will it it really will and I'll put in the picture um, of the of the swimwear I got this one in I got it in a large and um, like let me see if I can pull it back here so it, it comes up and it like it like gathers right at the stomach area it's more flattering that way and then obviously the the cute little top has built-in bra and I don't know I think it'll look really cute at the pool with AJ and I really like this one I have a bunch of bathing suits I just wanted something new um, I usually go for more of a covered look but I really like that one. So there we go. I think that is all of my favorites. Even though I'm going to show you one more favorite. Um, it's actually a favorite of AJ's. It's a favorite of mine. And we play with them all the time. So let me grab them. These little cars. Let's see here. So we have this one. And... Um, they are remote control. They go forwards and backwards. And we have this one. They are so cute. AJ plays with these forever. And the truth is, is I love zipping them around the house as well. They're so easy for him to use. And he loves them. So, I just wanted to share those. I'm definitely going to link them. Because I think, again, if you got a toddler in your life, these are such good little gifts. Perfect for holidays or birthdays. They're just a great little gift, and I think they were like $30 or something like that. Look up here. So, here's Gabby, you guys. I just thought I'd grab her up. So, that was it. That was the end of my favorites video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll do my very best to link it below. She is such a talkative little kitty cat. Um, and she's such a sweetheart. She's the first cat that Scott got me, and I love her so much. Um, <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely get subscribed if you're new to my channel, and I will see you very, very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.